Hello students, my name is Priyanka and I am your digital mentor. So students, from today we will start chapter 8 of unit 3 that is India, natural vegetation and wildlife. So children, get the ball rolling. Natural vegetation, conservation of forests, preservation of wildlife, importance of forest, wildlife. Geographical terms Latex A milky fluid secreted by many plants Evergreen forests Forests which remain green throughout the year Mangrove forests They are tidal forests Deciduous forests Forests in which trees shed their leaves during summer Snow line The height above which the snow never melts completely. National Park A reserved area for preserving wildlife, natural vegetation and natural beauty of the region. Wildlife Sanctuary A reserved area for the preservation and development of endangered species of animals. Natural Vegetation Forests provide natural cover to animals and the waste of animal provide nutrient for forest to grow and thrive. Vegetation cover in an area that develops without human interference is known as natural vegetation. The major natural vegetation in India is found under the following categories. First, tropical evergreen forest. Second, tropical deciduous forest. Third, Thorn forest, fourth, tidal forest, fifth, mountain forest. The first one is tropical evergreen forest. These forests are found where there is heavy rainfall of over 200 cm. As the rainfall is adequate, the trees retain their leaves throughout the year. Hence, the forest is always remain green and are called evergreen forests. Examples of trees found in these forests mainly include mahogany, ebony, rubber and rosewood, bamboo and a variety of creepers are also present in these forests. These trees are hardwood trees and are best suited for making furniture. Latex is the main raw material for rubber manufacturing and comes from the rubber tree found in these forests. Evergreen forests also grow in saline coastal water such as mangrove thickest and tidal swamp forests. They are found on the windward slope of the western ghats, part of West Bengal, Assam, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the East Himalayan foothills. The second one is tropical deciduous forests. These forests are called monsoon forests. They are found in a large part of our country. These forests are less dense than evergreen forests and are found in the regions with the rainfall between 80 to 200 centimeter. The chief characteristic of these forests is the dominance of deciduous trees and remain leafless for one or two months along with smaller trees and evergreen shrubs. However, each species has its own time of leaf shedding. So the forest never looks absolutely bare at any time. They too have a thick undergrowth of shrubs and creepers but in the trees are shorter and more widely spaced than those in rainforest. Teak, sal, centerwood, bamboo, shisham and mahua are the common trees found in these forests. Economically, they are more important than evergreen forests as they are easy to cut down and can be used for commercial purposes. These forests are found in Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha, Chhattisgarh and in parts of Maharashtra. The third one is thorn forests. 
These forests occur in areas which have rainfall under 75 cm. They are found in the drier parts of the Deccan Plateau, Punjab Plains, Haryana, Rajasthan and parts of Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat. The vegetation consists of short trees like acacia, thorny bushes and shrubs. They have thorn and waxy leaves to prevent loss of moisture from leaf surface. This helps them to withstand long dry conditions, kikar bubble, date palm and care are the useful trees of these forests. The fourth one is tidal forest. These are called mangrove forest. They are found along the eastern coast in the large delta formed by the Ganga, Brahmaputra, Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri rivers. Both fresh water and salt water are ideal for mangrove trees. These trees have special roots called breathing roots. Their wood is mostly used for boat making. The Sundari is the most common tree found here. The Sundarban forest of the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta are named after this tree. The fifth one is mountain forest. As one goes up the mountains, the temperature is lower than that of the plains. The vegetation here is termed as mountain forest. In the lower foothills up to 1000 meter tropical deciduous forest of mainly sol are found. Higher up till 2000 meter the vegetation is subtropical with trees such as walnut, chestnut, maple, elvish, birch and poplar. However beyond 2000 meter till about 3000 meter coniferous forest of pine, cedar, dedar and silver fir are found. Over 3000 meter to 5000 meter only some alpine to subalpine grasses grow with a few flowering mosses and lichens. At 5000 meter is the snow line and above this the subsoil is always frozen. So nothing grows here. The Himalayan areas from Assam stretching westward to Kashmir and parts of the higher hills in the western Ghats have these types of vegetation. Importance of forests. Forests are the lungs of the earth. Forests provide oxygen for the environment. Forests provide various products like timber, medicinal herbs, fodder, fuel, lac, rubber, gum, etc. which are largely consumed by human beings. The forests are home to wildlife. Forests help in binding soil and prevent soil erosion. The plant growth helps water balance in the soil. Conservation of forests. Forests and plants are essential for life on earth. They maintain the balance of availability of the most essential gases on earth for human life. Cutting down forests can cause reduction of availability of oxygen. While the plants are one part of the environment, the animal world which thrives in this region are equally important to the plants to maintain the cycle of life. Animals eat the plants and also help transport their seeds from one place to other. This is natural phenomena to maintain the ecological balance. Animals release carbon dioxide which is essential for plants. Therefore, there is interdependence between the two. It is essential that we take interest in preservation of forest and wildlife. Wildlife The forest in India provide habitat for a great variety of animal and bird life. However, human activities such as clearing forest, cutting down trees and and roaching on forest and land and hunting have led to the extinction of many species. 
the wet and dense tropical evergreen forest and deciduous forest of peninsula india west bengal and assam are home to the tiger elephant wild buffalo wild boar wolf fox nilgai that is blue bull hena rhinoceros deer sloth bear langur macaque reptiles such as alligator crocodile gharial and snakes such as the cobra and python different varieties of birds and insects are also abound here where the forest change into grassland lions leopards deer antelope and an array of snakes are found the drier scrub and thorn forest provide a habitat for the camel and asiatic wild ass among others the snow leopard himalayan brown bear blue sheep goral etc are found in the higher ranges of the himalayas so brainstorm find out the names of the common trees in your city or town classify them on the basis of their uses for example fruit producing flower producing medicinal use etc preservation of wildlife poaching indiscriminate killings and hunting are causing great damage to the wildlife many species were getting extinct to prevent such large scale damage to the wildlife several steps have been taken to preserve the wildlife of india wildlife sanctuaries national parks and biosphere reserves have been set up at various part of the country a ban on hunting and poaching of wild animals has been imposed in the reserves some animals have been declared as protected species and declared as endangered species project tiger was initiated in 1973 as this species is being killed by poachers for skin and bones of medicinal value there is not only a ban on hunting or killing endangered species there is a ban on keeping sale and purchase of their skin fur hides and bones etc many weeks are observed to spread awareness about wildlife environment and vegetation protection events the one mahotsav are also organized to inculcate the need to grow more trees in towns and cities case study so this case study is of the tiger the project tiger project tiger is a wildlife conservation project which was launched on april 1 1973 today it has become one of the most successful wildlife conservation ventures this project aims at tiger conservation in specially constituted tiger reserves in various regions throughout india it strives to maintain a viable conservation reliant tiger population in their natural environment project tiger helped increase in population of tigers from 1200 in the 1970s to 3500 in 1990s however a 2008 census held by the government of india revealed that the tiger population had dropped to 1411 Since then the government has set up a tiger protection force to combat poachers and funded relocation of up to 2 lakh villagers to minimize human tiger conflicts So students it's time to wrap up India has been divided into five vegetation regions First tropical evergreen forest second tropical deciduous forest third the thorn forest fourth the tidal forest fifth the mountain forests natural vegetation and wildlife are affected by rainfall and relief features forests provide us various products of commercial importance all the plants and animals in a given area are closely linked with each other and the last one is 
to conserve wildlife the government has set up national parks biosphere reserves and wildlife sanctuaries so students it's time to take your leave so bye we'll meet in the next class